Hey, what are you guys doing here? Joe, you're at J-Dog in Lancaster. You like my little what I got going on over here? Let's get ready to go on a ruck march. About to school you guys on this too. Got it on the job. A rucksack and a backpack may seem like they are interchangeable, but rucksacks have a set of distinctive qualities that set them apart from just any old backpack. Rucksacks have military origins and they're built to carry a lot of weight over time and distance. It comes from the German words rucken meaning back and sack meaning bag or pack. Rucking is a foundation of the United States Army Special Forces training and rucksacks are built for rucking. Your rucksack's one main job is to hold weight and do it really, really well. All right, so today we're talking about the rucksack. I would like to take you on a personal journey of my rucksack. Uh, about a year ago, after making some different life choices, I started uh, rucksacking every Saturday morning. It's been awesome. It's been keeping me in shape, giving me something to look forward to on the weekends. Now, again, this is my personal rucksack. Um, I try to keep mine around like 40 pounds because to me it's enough that you feel it, but it's not like overbearing. And I don't really need to like prove myself to anyone. So to me, it's just, 40 pounds is like that, that perfect spot. So I packed this a year ago and I have not opened it since. So it should be pretty interesting. All right, we'll start with the uh, side pockets. So on this side, I have a first aid kit that has anything you might need in case you get damaged out there in the brush. Always got to think safety first because most of the time I'm rocking by myself, so I need to make sure if something happens, I'm prepared. Next part, here we go. Got the MRE. Don't leave home without it. That's a meal ready to eat for all you civilians out there. Uh, this is what you're issued in the military um, when like running water and, and hot chow is not available. They give you some MREs. Also got, keeping the military, also got my e tool. This is very important. It's called an e-tool and trenching tool. Um, this will help you build things and dig holes and whatever you may need in the brush. This one's actually cool because it has the axe as well, the pickaxe. So you can make it a shovel or you can use it as a pickaxe to dig a foxhole. So that's my side pockets. Oh, on the front, I have this clip to my, right here on my left chest. This is my Asiatic compass. Um, it's just a regular military issue compass. Uh, Asiatic means that it has these phosphorescent lenses on it that glow all the time. So if you're doing some light ops, you can see where you're looking. It glows all the time. You don't, don't have to be charged by, by actual sunlight. So that I always keep with me because uh, in case you get lost you, and you don't want to rely on a GPS or things with battery, that will never fail you. you know? So that's always good to have. Now we're going to the main compartment. Again, it's been a year, I have no clue. Don't remember half the stuff that's in here. So we got the waterproof membrane, which is always good. Got a Wubby. This is a military issue blanket, keeps you warm. It's called a Wubby. Got a sleeping bag. So if you're caught in the brush and you have to spend the night with a sleeping bag and a Wubby, you're totally comfortable. This is necessary too. This is uh, maps for all of southeastern Pennsylvania. So no matter where I'm hiking, I could have topographical maps I could reference, use my compass, things like this you can't get lost with because there's no battery, nothing can die on here, you know. So this and a compass, you could pretty much get anywhere you need to go. Um, also have this for eating. This is so if you want to cook something over a fire. I have a uh, change of clothes to wear to sleep in. Some pants, shirt, underwear, socks, super important. And that's it for, oh. Also I have an ax. This thing's awesome. This was given to me by a former boss. I don't know if you can see, this thing is really cool. So I keep that in there as well for chopping wood. And then there's a bottom main part, and I believe this is the last part of the book. So in here we have two things. Uh, one, I always keep a bayonet. You always want to keep something to cut with, um, whether you're cutting heavier things or not. Bayonet has been trusted by the military for hundreds of years. So I always stick with that. And then last but not least, a tank. So this will protect you from the elements. Uh, 
And this is just my kind of brush sag. It will last me three, maybe four days if you need it in the brush. Um, again, I wear it because it equals up to 40 pounds. It's enough to last in the woods if you need to. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for uh, joining me for my little rucksack journey. And it was kind of cool seeing this stuff I haven't seen for a while. So there you go. Hopefully you learned something about rucksacks. That was our Got It On A Job episode 25. Thank you guys for watching. See y'all later. Rock on.